is Diego Lizarazo and today I just wanted to make a small video since I haven't updated much lately uh, uh, the state of the tower defense game that I was making with you guys so well mainly because I was translating some of the uh, videos to Spanish so it has advanced a little bit more there and second because well I've been busy doing some presentations and getting ready for certain things that I, that I have to do in any case uh, one of the last things that we were checking on the videos was how to use a template, a game template. So, let me show you here. Uh, this one. This is the one that, that we had. And uh, the cool thing is that basically it does have a, a game screen. So, well, let's start from the get go. Uh, maybe the menu. I'm going to do this. And you are going to see that you should have here some sort of like title that you can modify and you can add a background or something so you can personalize it. And then you just also can modify the, the credits and go immediately for the game. So you do have this intro and you have the uh, chance to uh, pause the game or, well, to add the other things that we had before. So like to move here. And also the resolution is different, so I guess we should modify the, the size of the of the uh, towers. But well, that's that's a little bit out of the point right now. The thing that I wanted to mention is something that I did. Uh, well, I mentioned it before, and I was going to make it, but it, it took some time, and it was not really like paying as much attention as I should have. And it has to do with the number of events. So you see that I'm already at 99 events here, adding the template and having everything else there. There are many things that I could clean up there, and uh, I perhaps I should uh, share that version too. But right now, 99 events, that means that if I add something else, I am going to be, uh, even just a few events, I'm going to be over what you could need for the free version. So if you do not have a, a free version, if you have one, the personal or the business version, well, that's not a problem. You can download this template and it's going to work as you expect. But I wanted to make this uh, that, let's say, could be used by anyone. And uh, is, if you see in this version that I have here, that I'm cutting events, that was the name that I gave it, I was already able to cut it down to 57 events and you already have quite an, an advanced game and I guess you could cut even more events but but uh, hey from 99 to 57 that it still gives you a lot of room to go so I'm going to show you the main differences and it has to do around um, well some of the uh, include uh, event sheets that we had here I basically cut it off in, in the other version so let me see again so you see that basically right now I'm having one and this is something that you could even like uh, eliminate too if you want to but the main thing or one of the main things is that I basically eliminated all the global variables that I had some here and I also had some over here in where is it bars so you had something here that was almost like 20 some variables so what I did uh, I explained this before, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Was to create this element that is called bar container, and I create the copy of all the global variables and just put it as an instance variable here. Now the thing is that if I do that, I could keep like adding variables as many as I wanted, and because of that, now the events look different between the two versions. So let me see. For example, here I was asking for first time, that it was the first time that I run the game, and that's that was a global variable. Now what I'm doing here is to ask for bar container first time. So I added, of course, the same name and uh, added the, the same values, but then I had to change all the events that I had here. But doing that, I was able to eliminate the variable first time. So that was one event down. And I continue doing it many other times. So you can see that I was able to get it to 57. At some point, I may try to do uh, another cleanup. Quite likely, the logic can be cleaned too. 
and many other things so perhaps I could get it down to 50 or something else in any case with this and I'm going to show you um, let's just start with the menu you have basically the same uh, the same uh, working for the game and you still can add waves in this case I'm just putting I think two two monsters per wave well whatever two seekers per wave so I think right now I'm, I'm going to change the speed and whatever so um, this video basically is just to let you know that from now on I am going to start using this version of the game so all, everything else that I'm going to do from now on is going to work with this version uh, I'm still going to make the other one available so if at some point you don't want to do it like this if you think that this solution is a little contrived it's a little like too complicated that you still want to manage everything with with global variables well then I you still can go back and follow the videos and just keep working with this that is the, the, the big one but uh, I thought that it was a good exercise for me to clean up and I think it, it worked quite okay so what's going to be next um, uh, it's not working. It's not working. Mm, I am going to quite likely. Uh, I'm, in some other versions, I changed the map that I was using here, and I think it looks better. So I'm going to do that, and perhaps I am going to work a little bit on the background and some things like that, so we could uh, make a better, better, better looking game. And after that, uh, we have some elements that I would like to touch some elements that I would like to uh, add to the game and hopefully I should uh, finish this series soon so again I am Diego Serazo please don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to my youtube channel like you have it here and if you want to download some games that I've created and I, in many cases I've published you can get this one with the game templates that you're going to see again so don't don't forget that don't forget that and well just let me know what you think so far of the series and have a great day thank you